Hello Pisces! Thank you for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Daily Matero by Renata Lechner. For the support of Oracle Cards, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Already shuffled. Let's see. It's a general read. Okay. You got the Four of Cups here. Four of Cups. Not being happy with the situation. This is going to be an interesting one. I can already see this. <laughs> I feel like lines are drawn in the sand here. Um, Isis Inspiration. Isis Inspiration, to me, is a very evolved emotional sense of, like, it's stepping back and looking at a situation like, I know how I feel, I know how the other person feels, but then stepping back and, like, let's just look at it bare bones bare bones, see what's actually happening here and just slowly look how emotions are playing back and forth and trying to be like, all right, I'm the one seeing this, so I have to take control here. The first part of the situation going better is me getting a hold of how I'm feeling and reciprocating that out and then trying to encourage the other person to do the same so this can actually improve. It's not about what's right or wrong or who should do this or who should do that. It's about I don't like the situation the way it is. So I want it to improve. I have the opportunity to make this better. So I'm going to take control of this. The best place, the strongest place I have control right now is my own emotions and how I'm treating the situation. So that's where I'm going to start. Okay. Because this is a situation you're really not happy with at the moment, but you got the lover's card at the bottom, which just, it could be a family member, a friend, or a literal lover. But this is somebody your heart is extremely invested in. They mean a lot to you. You don't want to let them go. Um, you care about them. You care what happens to them. You want them to stay in your life. But the Four of Cups on top is saying you're not happy with how things are currently going here. So we got you, the Pisces, and I got this other person. And what I'm getting in the center, things seem to be on a very stable track going. They're go wherever things are going, I get again. The Four of Cups. The Four of Cups with the lovers behind it in the sense of like, you love this person, but you're not really satisfied or happy with the direction things are going. So the, the, the Knight of Pentacles in between you is telling me things don't really have a chance to really change unless somebody steps back and starts creating a change. Because you're watching this, you're the one in the power position at the moment that has a, an opportunity to change the course of action. Okay. Because I feel like what they're doing is they're giving you a, a perspective and then allowing you to go forward from there. Because what I'm getting from you, the Moon card, the Nine of Cups, and the Emperor for the Tarot cards. So to me, this tells me you, you very much care what happens to this person. You very much care how how they feel and what they want to do going forward. You got the Nine of Cups. You're very happy with them as a person. The situation may be the more the kicker. There's a situation here. I feel like it's more situational, but the person you very much care about, you're very happy that they're in your life, you wanna keep them in your life, you care about what happens. You look out for them, you believe they would look out for you. I wouldn't negate that out. But the Moon card is like, there's something here with this situation, you're just, you're worried about where things are going down the line. They just like they're they're staying the same but where they're heading they're like you're like down this road somewhere this could be a problem or we could have a really big problem and i'm really nervous about that but the moon card is like you don't really know but your intuition is saying there's something that needs to be taken care of here the study card is also here on your side it's like you're really intent on like the study card is telling me you're really intent on finding out what's true here what can i do here you're absorbing. Study is more absorbing. Um, star, study is uh, preparing. Um, really trying to figure out what's going on and seeing if there's something that can be done. So that seems to be where you are right now. The other person. All right. They've got the, there's three of them, but here's the first two. The, the star card with the six of wands. They really feel like you're on their side. Not that that's not true, 
but they're very hopeful that as they want to keep going forward in life, you'll do what they want, you'll help them get what they want, you're an ally, you're an asset to their life. But I'm noticing this too. This I held purposely to the last. The Three of Swords. To get what they want, I just feel like there's something distasteful here. Is it to get what they want or there's a, there's a hitch? It's either a, a, a feeling, could be a prejudice. I don't like, well, I mean, if it is, it is. You know if it is or not. I'm not even going to play with that. Um, there's something here. They're not happy. With, they're not happy about something. But it might be, it might be expressed through a prejudice. A prejudice against, it could, you know, prejudice goes many different ways between, like, social standing, race, religion, color, color, you know, race, all right, uh, age, gender, you got a lot of them there. Like, sometimes people have the prejudices against the simplest things that actually are a problem that people aren't addressing. I had a teacher in school that had a prejudice against redheaded people, and I didn't understand it when I was a kid. Like, I didn't understand what impact that was, but later on, I, like, I really understood, like, why that was a problem. But, like, people have the strangest prejudices for whatever reason. Um, something here is not right. Something here is a little off. With that, that Three of Swords is telling me they're expressing something, but they're painting it pretty. The grace is right there. Something is not right. And I feel like this is what you're seeing. This is what you don't like. This is the problem. That Three of Swords, there's something they're unhappy about. It could be expressed as a prejudice. But if it is, it's being painted pretty like it's just a joke or it's just a funny thing. But you're seeing it. I feel like you're seeing it. And they're saying the situation is not going to improve. You as their friend, lover, family member, somebody who legitimately cares about them, it knows that they're a good person, but there's something that isn't right here. You have the ability to bring this forward and help them consider correcting this. Consider, because we can't change people. But we can bring something forward and tell them our concerns and how much we care about them and hope for the best. Um, harvest is coming. It came right out the middle of the, the deck. It came right out the middle. But what they're saying is this person's behavior... I think it, if this reading is hitting with you, this person means a lot to you. This behavior, and it feels it feels like it's definitely not good. Something they're unhappy with, something that they're expressing, and they're painting it pretty, but it's not good. They're gonna pay the price for this. It's not your responsibility to make this right, but I feel like as someone who genuinely loves them, whatever that relationship is, I feel like you'll be more at peace knowing you tried to help them see it before they paid for it. You tried to help them correct it before, you know, it's kind of like the, the wobbly wheel on the car. You're seeing it now and you're like, if you fix it now, you can just get another tire and life can be a lot better. But if you don't, you're, you could break an axle. You could end up spinning out. You could end up in a fatal car crash. Like, you know what I mean? And I feel like you just saying, listen, that wheel, that wheel, it's not funny. It's not cute. You, you need to deal with it. You need to, and you need to drive very carefully until you do get it taken care of. I feel like that's the analogy I'd best describing here. And if you give them that information and you tell them, you can't make them fix that tire. But if they ignore you, you at least know that you tried because you love them and you, you tried to put it out there for them. Because I feel like they're heading for the harvest. They're heading for it. That behavior is going to bite them in the butt quite hard is what I'm getting. If things keep going the way they are. This may, this reading may be about you just being at peace with what happens next. Knowing that you tried, at least put it out there. You, you, you have no control about where they're going with it, but you can at least try to help them and highlight something for them. Where it goes from there, that's another thing. I feel like this is encouragement for you to say your truth to someone you love because you love them. I think this is encouragement. Is there anything else there? I don't I hope that's helpful. 
I just feel like they're trying to give you the courage to say something because it means a lot. And I just don't feel like you want this person upset with you and it may make you a little nervous, like they're going to take it very, not very well. Then you could end up having an argument with this person or like other problems. But I feel like if you bring it forward, you at least know you tried to help them before it became a big issue. All right, I think we're going to wrap that up there. I think we're done. All right, thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.